hey guys welcome back to another video and today we'll be talking about some some other important concepts of uh, OOP so first of all we are going to talk about dynamic method dispatch so dynamic method dispatch is a very important concept in Java and this is a topic that would help us to understand runtime polymorphism so like the concept here is remember when we created an object of like the father class so Henry was an object of the father class and Henry could contain the reference to its child class Molly so this is the concept comes from here so the runtime what it does so the run, runtime polymorphism what it does is basically uh, what method to run during a runtime environment or runtime situation. So let's say if we look into an example here. So this is the code that we have where public class daughter extends father and the father has an uh, father has a name, father has his money and his house as like the variables that that class has and he has a method which is called command and the daughter class it overwrites this command method okay so uh, daughter class we have a default value so the name is molly and molly has some money which is like 100 dollars let's say and molly has her own method which is molly's money is which would show us how much money that molly has and she is overriding her father's method which is command where it prints out no i would take the bus today so the command method in the father class says that take the car and molly overrides it by saying that she would take the bus okay so normally uh, the father object so any object created under the father class would have no idea about the child's variables or the child's methods right and that's like the normal case right the father doesn't have any idea about how much money the child has or would never ask for money from the child right so in these cases the father object doesn't have any idea about the child whereas the child would definitely inherit uh, all the variables and the corresponding methods of a father class but in this case what dynamic method dispatch is telling us is that whenever let's say we are creating an object of the father class father henry goes to new father so henry this object would definitely have access to all its own variables like let's say like the money uh the name and the house and has access to its own methods which is the command thing okay so now we are creating another object which is daughter molly equals new daughter so molly which is an object of the daughter class would have access to her own variables so name and money variable this one and it would have its access to its own methods which in this case is two so one here and another one here so two methods and one of them is she's overriding her father's method okay so now when we are putting the reference of molly into the father so remember uh, as i said before so the father can always take care of the child but the child can never take care of the father so molly equals to henry would never be okay this would never work however henry equals to molly would be completely fine so whenever we are saying Henry dot command Java runtime polymorphism so checks that okay it goes into this line and says that okay so Henry refers to Molly so it would run Molly dot command rather than running Henry dot command so Henry dot command would have said like take the bus however as henry refers to molly holds the reference to the molly object or the daughter object it would run 
molly dot command which would do this and as a result we can see that it prints out no I would take the bus today however Henry or the father class had a method called lend money so this lend money method shows us uh, or prints out how much money he wants to lend us so this is the one that prints out so as molly doesn't have a method called lend money a java runtime environment sees that it does the child class doesn't have or the reference object doesn't have this method so it would go back to the parent which is the father henry go back to the parent and run its method which is lend money however for this case the runtime environment sees that the henry object is holding a reference to the child object so it would try to run that child objects method which is command so the it would run the overwritten method and thus we see no i would take the bus today now if you look into the book here we can see that it, it says in other words it is the type of object being referred to not the type of reference variable so in the example it doesn't focus on the reference variable henry but focuses on the referred variable which is molly so uh, the method of molly would run the overridden method <coughs> so therefore if a superclass contain a method that is overridden by a subclass then when the different types of object are referred to through a sub superclass reference variable different versions of the method are executed now if you look into an example of the book we can see it more clearly so we have a method a, a class called class a which has a method called me which has a method called call me which prints out inside a call me method now we have another class which is called class b which extends class a so what this does is it has its own own overridden method which is called void call me and it has like uh, a different printout inside b's call me method and we have another class c which has its own like overridden call me method which prints out c's call me method now in the main method uh, we see that we are creating three objects so new a new b new c now a r which is we are creating obtain a reference of type a so we are creating a reference of type a we still haven't created any objects that we would put into r now r equals to a a is basically the object of type a now if we run r dot call me it would print out a's version of call me now if you put r equals to b it would print out b's version of call me so it would go into so the runtime environment would go into the child see if there is any method call call me then if it is it would run that if it's not then it would go back to the parent and run that method so that's why we are seeing a's call me method b's and c's